Hey guys, Matty H bringing you game one, round one of the A-League. Adelaide United hosting Sydney FC, October 19, 2018. It's back and we are simply starting for the Hyundai A-League's return. And if football is our religion, then how appropriate we are in the city of churches. That's a really vital intervention, but only partly away. Craig Goodwin, what a save by Andrew Redmayne. First real goal mouth action. Craig Goodwin on target, but Andrew Redmayne equal to it. Well, that's quite a brilliant save. Far side of the box is Goodwin. And Galloway to try and kill it. Oh, Scott Galloway! Scores the first goal of the new A-League season. And it's a beauty from outside the box. Spotted Andrew Redmayne off his line and lifted it over him. And with the last kick, probably, of the first half, Adelaide United draw first blood. Ninkovic. Fires it across, there's a chance, and the equaliser arrives through Adam LaFondra with 13 minutes to go. And Adelaide have conceded when really they didn't look likely to at any point in this game. And out of nothing, it's 1 1. Van der Linden has to deal with it, he let it bounce. Halloran. Redmayne, perhaps a little bit of redemption for him. It was probably a routine save in the end. And it ends all square. And of course, they will do it all again in the FFA Cup final here in 11 days' time. So there you have it, a 1-1 draw between Adelaide and Sydney FC, playing out a, a very cagey first opening game of the season. Both teams being very defensive, looking to put in a lot of defensive pressure which resulted in very few opportunities in the box. A little bit to be expected from a first round game. We had a very good goal from Galloway in the third minute of first half injury time. Certainly one of the picks of the first round in terms of all the goals scored. And then Adam Lafondre, the new English import for Sydney, scoring in the second half. Here we see the starting lineup for Adelaide United, a 4-2-3-1, a 4-5-1, depending on how you want to call it. We have what is a very defensive structure in the sense that they're putting a lot of players into the midfield trying to gain control while using two holding midfielders to join up with their two centre-backs to try to get a very strong defensive core in the middle of the park. We should also know that Halloran started up front, one of the new signings for Adelaide United this season. He's come in and has started up the top on the basis that the other two forwards, Blackwell and Diawara, are out injured this week. It'll be interesting to see how they go when those two players come back. Sydney, on the other hand, played a lot more of a more common 4-4-2. It should be noted that both Brillante and O'Neill, the two central midfielders for Sydney FC, were the two holding midfielders. Nikovic and De Jong, even though listed as more traditional wingers, were actually a lot more advanced and did tuck in a fair bit, creating space for the likes of Zulo and Grant to come in from behind. Here are some of the key stats from the game. Notwithstanding the no amount of possession and the total passes for each side, you will find that it was a fairly close game. In saying that, you'll actually find that it was a game of two halves. The other thing I'll point out at this point in time is that when you look at the total shots and the shots from inside the box, both sides were having as many shots inside the box as they were from outside. And one of the big things you'll find in that is that 80% of all goals are scored from within the box, which means any time you're encouraging your players to shoot from outside, they are taking low percentage shots. Yes, you can still score from there, but there is a good reason they are low percentage shots. In this first half, we do see that the possession between the two teams is fairly even. The two big stats in terms of the differences come from the fact that Adelaide had almost three times as many crosses, while Sydney FC had four times as many clearances from the back line. What that does tell you is that Adelaide themselves were playing a very, very high line. If you listen to Marco Kurtz, their coach, he did speak about that for the first half. They were trying to get the ball as far up the field as they can. And when you're doing that, it often gives you a lot more opportunities in and around the box to try to get the shot on target, which in itself, even though Adelaide scored late in the half, it did give that one full opportunity for Scott Galloway to curl what was an absolute cracker of a shot over the top of Andrew Redmayne. Come the second half, Sydney FC is chasing, so thereby you can see that the possession dominance does go up, along with the fact that it's this time Adelaide who's having to do a lot of the clearances and ultimately leads to the 
excellent play down the left, allowing Michael Zulo to whip in a cross for Adam Lafondre. And look, when you get the opportunity to put a ball into a player of Lafondre's quality, he's got bang away opportunities that you give him from inside the six yard box. So there you have it, the opening game for the A-League 2018-2019 season. Three things going forward for me that will be interesting to see. Number one, what's the impact of a returning Adelaide Fords? Halloran did well to lead the line. That said, he does seem to be equally adapted being a second striker as a winger. So that's where it's going to be interesting to see the other players come back in. How long is it going to take for the Sydney team to gel? They've been so good over the last two, two seasons, two years. We sort of expect that they're going to have a quality there. They just need to get it right. And from what we've seen, have we had any false dawns? Are both teams actually going to take the bull by the horns or are we going to see them drop off a bit? Are they going to be able to reach those former heights that at least Sydney has had in the past? So thanks again for watching the video. I will be doing a number of videos on the A-League over the next several months. So please feel welcome to subscribe to the channel to get all updates and notifications. This is Matty H. Wishing you well until next time.